Welcome to the Gwinnett Small Business Spotlight. We love to feature and celebrate the small businesses within our county through quick interviews. You're going to hear who they are, what they do, why they do it, why you should use them, and more importantly, where you can find them. And I encourage you to seek out and support these great men and women who help make Gwinnett County great. I'm your host, Gary Martin Hayes. Today's guest is Dr. Chris Connolly with Pain Free Atlanta. Dr. Connolly, great to see you. Thanks for being here. Thank you for having me, Gary. You are an amazing doctor, an amazing man, a great friend, stellar credentials. You're respected not only within Gwinnett County, but around the state. I'd love for our viewers to get to know you a little bit more, though, on a personal level before we start talking about your role as a chiropractor within our community. Tell us a little bit about yourself and why you call Gwinnett County home. Sure. Well, I've been married 25 years to my wife, Debbie. And we have four children that are teenagers. And the main reason why we like Gwinnett County is because of the school system. So uh, they're teenagers and Sydney goes to UGA. Uh, Brooke is gonna go to Georgia State next year. She's a senior this year and the twins uh, go to Brookwood High School. And so we just love the school district, but also we enjoy the community feel. So even though Gwinnett County is massive as far as population is concerned, uh, it really has a good sense of community and taking care of each other, especially in this time period. Dr. Conley, I know you're one of the top doctors in our state. And I'd just love to uh, review for our viewers your CV, if I can, and hit some of the highlights because it's about a five page CV. You've been in practice for 23 years. You were voted, and congratulations on, the, on this, Chiropractor of the Year back in 2019 by the Georgia Chiropractic Association. You actually serve on the Attorney General's Anti Opioid Task Force. You've treated approximately 15,000 trauma patients. You've performed over 150,000 patient exams and treatments. You are utilized as an expert by attorneys and insurance companies in over 1,000 cases. And I love this. You have taught more than 50 continuing education seminars on patient care and injury topics. So tell us a little bit more about your practice. So our practice is really patient-centered diagnostic based. And what does that mean? That means we really focus on what's causing the pain, what the diagnosis is. And then the patient-centered approach is we customize the treatment based on the patient's unique circumstances or their diagnosis or the things going on with the patient-centered approach. So uh, we have a neat, unique approach because of the fact we focus on the diagnosis, the patient, and if we can help them, great. If we can't help them, we tell them we can't help you, but we refer them to a medical doctor that can one thing I love about your practice and, and what you've said when I've taken your deposition or interviewed you about a patient, you've always said a proper treatment plan, it begins with a proper diagnosis. Tell us about how you go through that process of getting the correct diagnosis to develop that treatment plan. You're, you're spot on, Gary. So, so the main saying I use or saying I use on a regular basis is a good diagnosis is the first step to a great treatment. So it all starts with sitting down, discussing with the patient one-on-one, -on -one, what are their symptoms? Then we talk about the history. Then we do an examination. Then we go over uh, maybe some diagnostic tests, MRIs, nerve conductions, uh, x-rays, whatever they need. And then we sit down and we formulate a diagnosis. Based on the diagnosis, then we sit down and develop a care plan based on um, what the patient's needs are and their specific uh, condition. You are one of only three facilities within Georgia that has some great cutting edge technology on dealing with concussions, and that's a brain scope. I know Grady Memorial has it as a part of their emergency triage plan. There's a neurosurgeon that has it. Why do you have brain scope, and, and what does this technology do? Sure. In fact, I'm the only chiropractor in the country that I know that has it and utilizes it. So it's an entry level concussion tool to help uh, diagnose patients who have head injury. So it's FDA approved for pediatrics all the way up to age 85. So it's really an entry level tool to help diagnose patients with concussions or head injuries. And once we find patients that have positive findings, then we use the uh, Georgia uh, or the uh, Gwinnett Concussion Center protocol on treatment. And we refer them to the right medical doctor to get the right workup and treatment protocol long term. Yeah, I'm glad you mentioned the Gwinnett Concussion Institute. We are so lucky to have that facility within Gwinnett County. Those guys are amazing. Dr. Schwartz, uh, outstanding doctor. Uh, one thing that, that really struck me about the importance of, of diagnosing the concussion is making sure you, you get the person in for treatment. It was the VA study that you cited for me. Tell us more about the VA study of concussions and, and what their findings were. 
Sure, that was in a journal of the American Medical Association. They did a study of over 350,000 veterans. And what they found, they had two times the risk of dementia as they get older. So that really stresses the importance of early diagnosis so they can get the best possible care to make sure that the brain heals as they get older. And one of the most devastating things for patients, particularly young patients, uh, is a repeat injury. So the thing we have to do is make sure we sit them on the sideline, that they don't have any repeat trauma, because a repeat trauma to a brain is one of the most dangerous things you could have and really increases the risk of more long-term issues. And this is not just for patients involved in car wrecks on the job injuries. It's also, as you said, for perhaps sports injuries for the parents out there with kids playing the, the contact sports. Exactly. So it's FDA approved for pediatrics, but it was originally designed by the military to be used in the field. So it just came into the private sector about two years ago, but for about 12 years, it was used in the military just to identify and help our soldiers to assess concussion in the field. So it's pretty mobile. It's easy to use. And it is something where it was designed initially for the military because, unfortunately, you know, our, our men and women in the armed forces protect us and, and God bless them. Uh, but they also have a high risk of injury and brain injury particularly. So it helped to assess the brain injury in the field. Yeah, I echo what you said. God bless the men and women in, in the military and their families. We, we are big fans of, of all they do. Let's talk about your book. You wrote a book uh, about whiplash injuries, the, the truth about whiplash. Tell us about that. I did. So, um, you know, I've seen lots of patients over the years that, um, you know, didn't recover and we were able to get them to recover with some of the protocols we use. And we used international guidelines. We use guidelines used in Canada, Australia, Europe. And so I incorporate that in our patient care. And we have a very good success rate. And I've seen other patients that came, they would say, I went to this clinic, I didn't get better. And then, you know, so we basically formulated the other protocols in with our patient care. It's been very successful. So we talk about incidental pathologies, acute pathologies, what they need to do to get better. And so it's basically a patient guide on how to improve. One thing that, that always interests me is why people choose their profession, their, their career. So what made you want to be a chiropractor? Well, I always knew I wanted to be something in the medical field. So I uh, looked at dentistry, regular medicine, uh, athletic trainer. And I played college football and I got hurt and chiropractic was one of the things that helped me get better. But I really appreciate the natural approach. So we get people better without drugs, without surgery, without injections. And, um, you know, I, some people do need that. But it's always good to try chiropractic or some type of natural therapy or drugless therapy first. Uh, obviously, surgery, injections and medication have its place. But it's always good to try more physical remedies. And then we also focus on lifestyle medicine. So nutrition, exercise, sleeping, all different attributes of successful living. And so we help with patients. We help them get on the right track as far as lifestyle medicine is concerned, too. And this circles back to your service on the anti-opioid committee. You don't want people addicted to, to pain medications. Exactly. And unfortunately, uh, it, for a long time, it was the first line for people with back pain, neck pain is give them opioids. And so, unfortunately, I've had friends and family where their loved ones have been killed because of the opioids. And it's a huge epidemic. In fact, it's probably, uh, you know, one of the worst medical epidemics we've ever seen. But it is something where now the awareness is not on opioids first. It's on chiropractic first. It's on physical therapy first, on physical remedies before you try any type of invasive procedure. You have done an amazing job for me, for my family, treating my clients over the years. And I know it's difficult sometimes for people to, to toot their own horn, but I'm a big fan of yours and I want people to know about you. But I'd love to hear from you as to why they should choose Dr. Connolly and Pain-Free Atlanta. Well, basically, then we'll give them a patient-centered diagnostic approach. And if we can help them, great. And we'll formulate a treatment plan on how to get them better. And if we can't help them, then we'll send them to the right provider. But, you know, our care is based on your particular condition. And we sit down with you and do a one-on-one -on -one to really find out what's causing your pain. So we focus on a lot of patients who they don't get any results other places. And they come down and we sit down and we do an examination, consultation, and really find out what's causing their pain. How can people learn more about you, about your practice? Go to uh, painatlanta.com. They could also give us a call. Our phone number is 770-469-7330. They could also go and find us on Facebook, and they just put on top Facebook, painatlanta.com, and we share uh, daily principles of successful living tips, different things on exercise, nutrition, 
Uh, with all the things lately, we would even have exercises on there so patients could do home exercises. So they could also find us on Facebook. Outstanding. Dr. Connolly, thank you so much for your time. Thanks for being with us here on the Gwinnett Small Business Spotlight. Great seeing you. Thanks for all you do. Thank you, Gary. Folks, let's support Dr. Connolly and all of the small businesses out there in Gwinnett County. And, and remember, this is an extremely important point. When you buy from a small business, you're not helping a CEO buy that third home. You're helping a little girl get a dance lesson, that little boy get his sports jersey for his team. You're helping a mom put food on the table, a dad pay the mortgage, or helping a kid pay for college. It's that important. Thank you for watching. God bless and be safe.